political correctness, oh, yes. which I think is completely running rampant across America right and now. And I live within it as an academic. As an academic. So we're going <laughs> to get... swim in it. All right. So, you know, all right. So let's start there, then. Yeah. So to the college part of this, uh, you know, Jerry Seinfeld about a month ago. Yes. Jerry Seinfeld, who's the most apolitical comic. Yes. I, I know everything about Jerry Seinfeld. I don't know any of his political beliefs. I have no idea if he's for abortion, for the death penalty. Nobody has any idea what he thinks. He now is saying that college campuses have gone too politically, uh, politically correct. Chris Rock has backed him on this. Um, you know, a whole bunch of comedians have said this. Um, what is going on on college campuses? I'll give you a powerful personal anecdote. Uh, last year I gave a talk at uh, Wellesley College, an all-women's college, about the thought police and how it regulates the free exchange of ideas. After my lecture, a student came up to me and said, I don't think there's anything wrong with the idea of a professor at the start of class polling 100 students about how you should address them. So even though, for example, Dave Rubin is my student, I clearly see you as a male, at the start of every lecture, I should say, do you, do you gender identify as male or female? Because that will deter. So I looked at her in, in true astonishment. I said, do, do you really see this as a viable way by which society would be organized, where every single time we interact, we should first preempt uh, any any greeting with what do you self-identify as? And she said, absolutely, because that way you wouldn't be hurting anybody by p p placing them in the wrong category. Yeah. That's astonishing, right? Okay, so what's the most dangerous part of that? Because to me it seems like, let's say you went ahead and did that. You taught this class exactly as sort of the social justice yes. warriors would want you to yes. teach it. Well, the world doesn't operate like right. that, right? So then aren't you actually then setting up these kids, these college kids, for a huge awakening where the day they graduate college. But they're not well trained to face that real world, right? Right. So they are so tentative in the way they express themselves, right? They're so afraid to step outside the herd. I mean, if you look at intellectual diversity on campuses, which is very much related to what we're talking about, it's breathtaking, right? Uh, look, I'm Canadian, so I don't care Republican or Democrat. I don't have a dog in that fight, right? Yeah. But there are studies... Wait, I gotta get this straight. Jew, Arab, <laughs> Canadian, man, and atheist, you really, and, and, atheist. atheist. and brown skin. Oh my, you've got a lot. <laughs> you really do have a lot. All right, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So, so there, there were studies that were done looking at the political affiliations of professors at major American universities, whether they're Republican or Democrat. Yeah. And the numbers are just astonishing, and they get worse and worse in terms of the ratio as a function of the softness of the field. So, if in the humanities and sociology and gender studies. It's something like 40, 44 to 1, yeah. the ratio of... Now, for some issues, political, uh, political uh, lens doesn't matter. But for others, uh, is the death penalty appropriate? Uh, what should be our fiscal policy? Uh, should, we be, should we be foreign policy interventionists? Well, your political if, uh, lens affects these discussions. Of course. And to have all academia being represented by one side of the political s spectrum is horrifying. So what do we do about that? I mean, even though I may in most cases agree with that end of academia, not certainly not the political correct side, but I might agree with them philosophically on a lot of the points, how do you balance that out? Well, so Thomas Sowell, who's a very famous conservative ac uh, economist, mm -hmm. uh, said, and I'm, I'm going to botch the exact quote, he said, uh, intellectual diversity is, uh, diversity on campuses is great as long as it's uh, sexual orientation diversity, ethnic diversity, racial diversity, but the one diversity that should really matter, intellectual diversity, we condemn it. Well, yeah. what we need to do is Which find... Is thought. Which is thought, exactly. Yeah. And what we need to f was to find ways to create greater diversity on campuses, to allow both sides of any position uh, to speak. Yeah.